na sana ay uh, nag-enjoy ka sa ating konting kwentuhan. I, yes, yes, I do. I I hope we should we should have more of this in the future. Uy, si Kuya Mark ito. You're right on time for another day of learning and laughter in the world of autos and tech. Tara, biyahe tayo! Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world today. This is Kuya Mark, your Taller Mentor, and welcome to another episode of Kuya Mark's Video Podcast. And today, we're very fortunate because we're talking to one of the captains of the automotive industry. Oh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you to our next guest. It's no other than Attorney Romel Gutierrez. Hi. Attorney, uh, of course, Toyota is the biggest, no? Now in terms of market share in the in the industry. And, yes. and uh, can you tell us more about approach ng Toyota when it comes to, as you know, uh, the market now is very particular when it comes to sustainability, no? Ano po yes, yung mga technologies yes. na, na ginagamit or inintroduce ng Toyota ngayon uh, to address this uh, uh, sustainability issue ng mga customer oh, oh. natin? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You mentioned about Toyota being number one, ano? Uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that, you know, we've been number one for uh, more than 20 years now. And uh, wow. what really makes Toyota number one is the complete lineup of vehicles, no? Mm-hmm. And uh, yes, uh, we have to keep up with technologies. Oh, so uh, Toyota in the Philippines actually uh, already introduced uh, we call that electrified vehicles, no? Oh, oh and that includes uh, very popular sa atin is the hybrid vehicle. Mm-hmm. No? Sir, you've been with the company for a long time. Ano yung mga naging changes in terms of uh, uh, technology since you started in your career sa, sa industry, sir? Oh, oh, you know, I started Toyota, I, I joined Toyota in 2002. It's been more than 20 years now uh-huh. and uh, you know sales at that time was only about 90,000 units mm. uh, we are now doing almost 400,000 wow wow um, well, production you know this is very important yung local production natin mm. uh, at that time uh, the ratio of local pro- when you say local production yung uh, assembled CKD. in the Philippines oh yeah. CKD oh, that's oh. right you know 70% of total sales was uh, CKD at that time mm-hmm. but you know with the liberalization of imports na reverse mm-hmm. so we are now less than 30% locally produced vehicles no mm-hmm. maraming imports but it's it's good and bad uh, because mm-hmm. the, uh, at least we we have the chance to to uh, level up no mm-hmm. in terms of technology yung mga vehicles that are coming in. The height of pandemic really brought down our sales by 40%. Right. So, you know, maraming uh, changes in the auto industry landscape. But, yeah, well, it's very, it's, it's, it's a big contributor to the economy and uh, uh, we should always support this. Right, right. Now, for the benefit of our viewers and listeners, no, yung pinag-uusapan namin ni attorney na si KDS, ito yung mga uh, completely, completely knockdown units. Na ibig sabihin, yes, dumarating yes. yung components from from other countries na binubuo yes. natin dito sa Pilipinas. Yeah. And on the other hand, yung mga imported vehicles are what you call the CBUs. No? Ito yung mga completely built-up units naman. No? Yes. So that's number one. Number two, attorney, uh, how has been the industry doing since na nagkaroon po ng lockdown and ngayon, konti-unti na bumabounce back yung ating uh, ekonomiya? Yeah, uh, this year we expect to uh, hit the pre-pandemic level. Wow, wow. Uh, we were already hitting 400,000 eh, mm-hmm. units per year. Oh, uh, nung 2020, uh, we were down by mga 240,000. Mm-hmm. That's around 40% talagang reduction. But uh, slowly we're picking up. Um, uh, this year, we expect to hit uh, uh, more than the pre-pandemic level. That's what we, we are. We are doing good. Uh, recovery is, is is underway. Being also the the president ng uh, ng chamber ng mga manufacturer attorney, uh, ano yung mga challenges na kinakarap ng ng asosyon at ng industry as a whole? Yeah, you know, uh, when when Campi was established in 1995, eh, eh, you could you could see the name Chamber of Automotive Manufacturing. Manufacturing. No? Manufacturing. <laughs> or, uh, we are even thinking of changing that changing that name now, eh? uh-huh. <laughs> given the fact that uh, uh, 
Uh, there are more. Ilan na lang, ba, ilan na lang ba kaya turn in? <laughs> yes. Uh, dalawa na lang. Dalawa na lang. Oh, Mitsubishi and Toyota. Yeah, yeah, Susu, so, yeah. meron pa naman silang yung mga trucks. Yeah. So, but uh, really, uh, those are the issues. Maraming players na pumapasok ngayon. Even China, China brands. no? So, as Kampi, of course, we are the association uh, in charge of or responsible for uh, crafting or uh, uh, coordinating with government on appropriate government policies. No, so, siempre, uh, you know, different players have different uh, interests. No, that's so, right. That's right. Uh, how to how to harmonize that is the challenge of company company <laughs> right now. So, right. of course, well, what we do now is we encourage uh, new players to join Kampi no, so that mm-hmm. we can uh, speak with one voice and discuss issues internally. So that uh, when we uh, uh, deal with the government, uh, we have a common stance, no? Mm. After uh, for consensus within the uh, association. Yes. And I mean, how do you handle the decision-making process, considering that na the mentioned attorney, different different interests of the mga industry players? We, we, we really, you know, uh, the members understand where uh, others are uh, positioning, no? Mm. Uh, of course, uh, some would would uh, uh, focus on hybrid. Some would focus on uh, electric, pure electric. Some would focus on the. Of course, we still have the majority. Parin talaga is the internal combustion engine. No? So, right, right. Uh, well, government actually encourages local production, local mm-hmm. manufacturing. So we have to make them understand, and uh, um, members agree that you know. We cannot. We have to strengthen what is already in existence, mm-hmm. and those are ICEs, uh, uh, yung, yung mga internal combustion engine. So, right, right. Much as government wants to leapfrog don sa electric or what, yes. so oh, oh, we, we we make them understand that uh, uh, we will will go there. No, it's a transition. How do you think this will affect customer experience? Because, um. The bangit mo naring kaya ina na sure without the infrastructure without the demand mas mataas sure yung cost no that will be transferred to the customer in terms of these technologies no so how do you balance it out with customer experience? A hybrid technology uh, optimizes yung uh, vehicles system mm-hmm. to use a combination of uh, electric and gas power uh, mm-hmm. while you are driving so uh, depending on what mode you're in you can use much less fuel and spend less money on gas overall if, if you have the, the the hybrid no uh you know during traffic is the battery that you right. run so you don't consume uh, uh gasoline I, i'm driving one and it's really <laughs> which which one is it attorney <laughs> Which one is it? Camry Hybrid. So, okay. yeah, it's it's it's, it's nice and, and and it's really fuel efficient. Ang tanong, ito bang mga hybrid na to? The this new vehicles are essentially the same platform naman ng mga non-hybrid counterparts attorney, am I right? So, in yes, terms of yes, so, su- uh, sustainability of supply ng mga piyesa, uh, the customers are of course can be assured na wala tayong may kinproblema. Of course. Problem. Of course. So, oh, 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 oh. We uh, we do not introduce something that we cannot sustain. That's right. That's so, right. That's right. Uh, available yan mga parts niya. Uh, Anong message mo sa buying public in terms of um, what should be their expectations no? uh, dito, sa mga, dito sa ating mga existing brands? And of course, Toyota, for, for Toyota, from Toyota. What should yeah. be expected from? Yeah, yeah. You, you know, expect more uh, models to be introduced mm-hmm. in the coming years. Mm-hmm. It will not stop, no? The traditional vehicles would would really technology wise would be improved no we expect prices to be more competitive no, even china brands are coming in it, it, it's a good uh, sign no because uh, we are still in the uh, motorization stage uh, we see the potential of more buyers that's why availability of uh, appropriate models will be there yeah so even financing is is improving no um you know ang, ang sales natin is about uh, 60 to 70 percent financing eh. right, so, right so it will improve so that uh 
buying uh, cars would be made more affordable to the public. That uh, 60-70% attorney is industry-wide, na? Yes, industry-wide yan. And yung nangyari attorney ng mga lockdowns, of course, maraming mga repossessed vehicles. Nagba- nagbago na ba? Nagbago na ba yung trend uh, from your from your uh, point of view? Yeah, it's, it's it's going back, no? Kasi, well, we understand at that time, people uh, 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 may, may, may limitations on their earning capacity, eh. So, right. Uh, but but we we the financing companies naman have given uh, considerations for those mm. holding ano mm. yeah it was minimized na. and siguro ang after effect no syempre yung secondary market diba yes yes we bought it with a lot of yeah second hand <laughs> all right uh, thank you attorney for your time this afternoon uh, sana ay uh, nag-enjoy ka sa ating konting kwentuhan I, yes yes i do i i hope we should we should have more of this in the future. It is a tradition, of course. You're always welcome to come back. Yeah, yeah.